Today, our topic is the NOC and the CLB. On this video, I'm going to explain what NOC and CLB stands for. So I'm again on cic.gc.ca. I click English. And on the search box, I would type in Find NOC. Click on the link that says find your NOC. It will redirect you to this website. NOC stands for National Occupation Classification. This is how they classified the jobs here in Canada. For immigration purposes, they have five levels that they have categorized all the occupations. There's skill type zero, skill level A, skill level B, skill level C, and skill level D. You have to take note of the skill level that is tied up to your NOC because that will determine your Canadian language benchmark or the language test result that is required for your occupation. So for example, skill type zero is the category for management jobs, such as restaurant management. Skill level A are for professional jobs that call for a university degree. On this, you will find the different skill levels. Now, let's try to look for your occupation. Stay on the same website, and if you scroll all the way down, you will have their field wherein you can search for your occupation and what is the corresponding four digit number that is your NOC. And it will also show you the skill level type on the right side of the table. Let's try to type in teacher. If you're a high school teacher, NOC is 4031. Skill level type is A. Take note of the skill level type for your occupation because that will determine what is the minimum test result for your language. Let's try another occupation. Let's say business. You're a business manager or you're, you lead a team and you're a manager for a business organization or you're a business consultant. So your NOC is 112 and your skill level type is 8. Let's try your marketing professional. Your NOC would be this and your skill level type is this. Let's say you're a restaurant manager. Your NOC is this, and your skill level is zero. Let's say I'm a healthcare support worker. Support worker, let's look for health services. So your NOC is 3414, your skill level type is C. You don't have to put in the complete title of your job, you just need the keywords and then it will filter out what occupations you can choose from. On your search field, type in CLB. And this time, go to Language Requirements for Skilled Immigrants. On a previous video, I've shared that there are three lang approved language tests. If I click on this link again, it will show me what language tests are approved for your Canadian immigration. For English, there are two, CEL, PIP, and IELTS. You have to take the general test for CEL PIP, and for IELTS, you have to take the general training option. For French, we have the TEF Canada. 
so what happens during these exams? There are four categories that you have to take. That is speaking, listening, reading, and writing. Here you will see that if you are CLB7 and you took the CELPIP, you would require 7, 7, 7, and 7 for all the categories. If you took the IELTS, it doesn't mean that that your result should be also be 7. It means that speaking, you're only required 6 or better, listening, 6 or better, reading, 6 or a better result, and writing, 6 or better. And the same with French. So let us match your NOC with the CLB level required. I'm back on the CLB website wherein it discussed the language requirements. And if you scroll down, if you're applying for federal skilled worker, minimum is CLB7. If you're applying for Canadian experience class, and your NOC is 0 or A, that means CLB is 7, French is also 7. If the, your NOC is B, your CLB requirement is 5. If you're applying for the Federal Skilled Trades Program, your CLB level is different. Hope this video gave you some insights on what really is your NOC and what is your language requirement for your NOC. Good luck with your processing. Canadian language requirement, oh sorry, Canadian language benchmark and CLB, Canadian requirement.